Guys, I'm going to show you a real quick brief drill. Most of the elite level athletes that are watching, national team members, they're already aware of this drill and they already know it. Just to, re just to uh, remind you of the drill and I want you doing it in your practices to make your leg laces a lot better. Here's the drill. This drill is for the defensive man and the offensive man. It's my leg lace drill. It's my pressure drill, and it goes from my pressure drill to my transition drill. For him, it reminds him that when I slide, my shoulder, when I start sliding back and then back of them, and I release the gut wrench, it reminds him that he has to brace, brace me back in that position. Right now, Nate's already gonna let me have that position, and we're just gonna drill this position. Remember, anytime I leg lace a guy, my number one goal is, is get his hips flat, legs together. Once I get his hips flat and legs together, I make my transition to my conventional legs or my roll. But that's the goal I'm trying to get to, is his hips flat and his knees together. How do I do that? With pressure, with my shoulder, getting off my knee, making me carry all my weight, and pinching with my elbows. Exactly. Nate's already going to start halfway up. I'm going to be right here. This is the drill. Pressure, 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 pressure. Now, in a mad situation, I won't always be able to get him to this position. He'll be defending and he might even work right to, right to here. But since my pressure is strong and his legs are straight and my transition is quick, I'll still be able to catch him with the leg legs. First leg legs I'll do will be my roll, then we'll go conventional laces. Now remember, under the new rules, I can leg lace or gut wrench or any parterre technique, I can do it as many times as I want, and I want to do it many times because I'm trying to end the period. Six points in the period, one good strong leg lace or gut wrench can end the period. Drill that, don't just leg lace once or twice, three, four, five, six times to get in to build that habit of multiple turns. After I've drilled my pressure and pinch many times, now I'm going to pressure and pinch transition to my roll. Pressure, pinch. Look at my position, pinch. Watch my transition. My knee comes under as my hand slides. See it? This is the only thing quick about the move. I'm showing it slow. But remember, here's my position. Pinch here. From this position, I don't cheat. Most of you guys will do this. You'll start cheating the legs. And you'll start doing this. And you'll start getting off to the side and pull forward. Don't pull it in. And I'll lose you. You cannot leg lace a guy if you're off to the side unless you grab him once you got off to the side. You cannot transition off the side. Here's the drill. Remember, we pressured him, we pressed him, we pressed him. Now we're going to transition. Pressure, pinch, slide. He's going now. All I'm going to do is pound my feet, pop my hips on the way through. I'm going to wrap, wrap, wrap. Please. Should be matched. Very important that once I make that transition, I release this knee on my roll to my wrap. I've done it slow. Here's, a, here's, it's gonna, here's what's going to look like fast. Here. Pressure pinch. He's pushing back. He's fighting. Here it is. One more time. Here, press your pinch. Here, see. There are many very different variations to leg laces, and it all depends on either me getting into the ideal transitioning point or 
what he does in his defense. These are basic skills for your leg legs. Until you get these basic skills from your leg legs, it's hard to advance you further. As you get the basic skills, your partner will give you better defense, and then we will advance the technique. Conventional leg legs. One thing that goes wrong with many of our leg laces is we try to stay on a knee and a leg lace. Cannot, especially from a conventional standpoint. Also, when we make our transition from a conventional to a conventional lace, we tend to go from parallel with them to perpendicular. It does not work. I take pressure off him when I go perpendicular, he pushes back and he defends. Watch how I make him carry my weight all the way through my transition. Leg legs, I've driven him, now here I am. Look at my position. All I'm gonna do is this. Same thing, sit. He's carrying weight, lock him. If his knees are wide, I'm gonna roll my chest, and get him tight from here. Pull from the back, notice my position. Not on my knees, I'm on my toes. From here, knee hits, comes up, post. Remember, we're trying to six pointing, get him out of there. So I'm going to continue that roll all the way through my technique. I'm going to continue that cartwheel all the way through that technique. The difference between the conventional lace and the roll is on the roll, all I need to do is cross his ankles. On the conventional lace, I'm actually hooking ankle and locking his calf in. This is what's keeping him. Pitching elbow, lock calf, that's what's holding him. Sometimes when I get to my feet, I might even have to pull him back to straighten his legs out to give me a better chance to roll. Remember, anytime this guy's being laced, whether it's conventional or it's the roll, his defense is to bring his knees close to his body and his butt back. Conventional legs. Here's the technique. Principles are the same. Shoulder position. And the lower my shoulder, the better. If I can drop it deep in this hole, all the better. Add his butt here, no good. And this will never work. This never works. Shoulder low. Look at my position. Off my knee and drop. Notice how I make him carry my weight. He'll push back. He'll defend. Notice my position. Here. Go back. Here. Look at my transition. Look at my transition. Lock and calf. From here, this bottom knee means nothing anymore. Straighten him out. Straighten him out. Get him up. If his knees stay bent, straighten him out. To my score. One more time. Okay. My mistake, I need the cartwheel and continue to roll. Guys, as we move further and further throughout the year, we will expand and expand on this website to hopefully give you very detailed techniques, information, and tactics. We do, we do believe this is an ideal way to communicate with you when you're not here at the training center. Look for more information real soon.